Welcome back to the Strategic Stripping Podcast. I am your host, Velasca Bloom. Today is going to be a short episode about potentially a stripper's worst enemy, and that is the time-wasting customer. I don't want to also say it's potentially one of your coworkers, which they can, they can do it. And that's a standard that you need to set for yourself is that you won't let people waste your time. It's a, it should be a standard, especially with girls, with guys, with customers. It's a little bit different because you do have to navigate, is this guy full of shit or does he really have money? And just because he really has money potentially does not mean he's actually going to spend it. If you're with a customer that alludes to having a lot of money, make them prove it to you. Get them to go with you to VIP, get them to go get some dances with you. Make them prove it. Don't sit with somebody for a long time thinking, oh, this guy has massive potential because apparently he has a big business and this and that, whatever. That doesn't mean shit for your life, okay? If he isn't willing to spend money on you, then his net worth means nothing to you. So that's kind of where I want to go with this. I've seen tons of people come in in really nice outfits and look sharp as a tack and clearly had money, but this does not mean that they're going to spend any of their money. This is a realization that we all need to come to, that it doesn't always mean that the customer that has looks like they have a lot of money actually has a lot of money. Now, looking at this from your potentially rich customer's point of view, they might be wondering if you're worth spending the money on, right? Because they might not know you very well yet. This does not mean that you should waste a bunch of your time with them. At least have them take you to get a dance. If someone's not willing to come get a dance with you within a few songs, I'm gonna say I think you should move on. I could be wrong, maybe that's not the best advice, but I think if someone's not gonna get a dance with you within the first three songs, it's time to move on. And another thing, if a guy comes in and acts like he's hot shit and has already made it clear to you that he has money and he's attractive, so he has both things going for him, it still doesn't matter for your money-making abilities, okay? Don't waste your time with someone that's not willing to spend money on you. Oh, I wasn't going to say it. I guess I'm going to. I had an extremely attractive guy take me up to VIP the other night. And we were up there. I could have gotten a second VIP out of him. You girls know that intuition, that feeling when you know you need to do something. Well, we had been just talking for like 55 minutes straight. I didn't realize it was that long. I didn't do any dances for him. We just sat and talked, had a really great time. And that fucking little voice was like, get up and dance for him right now. And I thought the VIP hostess was supposed to give us a 15 minute warning because every other time I've been up there, I've gotten some kind of warning, not this time. So. I was like, oh, fuck, I'll just wait a little while longer just until the VIP hostess comes up. Well, she came up to tell us that our time was up. Now, had I started dancing for him five minutes earlier, we would have stayed up there. We would have stayed up there. I know we would have. So we come back downstairs and it's busy. And I already know this guy is rich and I know he really likes me. And I really do believe that he's rich. And... I go to sit down with them for a second and I'm like, I don't want this to be the last time I see you. Like I, I was like, God, there's so much potential here. There's so much potential here, especially considering, you know, I put it out there, that law of attraction thing. I put it out there. I want to find another customer that will financially take care of me for a long time, a very long time. If I ever need anything, like it will be there for me. Not saying that I need this. I'm gonna get married pretty soon and this is probably won't be necessary ever, but listen. 
this is something I really don't want my fiance to hear, but this is also something that's true. You never know where life's gonna take you. You never know what kind of twists and turns are gonna happen. Shit happens. Unfortunately, it really does. And I'm just throwing this kind of perspective out there because you gotta learn how to take care of yourself and to have a lifelong customer can be of massive god relief can be of uh, it can bring an overall happiness to your life seriously so i didn't want him to leave and then this guy starts talking to me about about leaving like let's go to a bar or whatever i was like no i'm not i'm not going to a bar with you i was like how about let's just go back up to VIP. I was like, I still really want to talk to you. And he was like, no, he was like, I mean, how much is this worth to you? And I'm thinking, motherfucker, I don't have a clue. <laughs> we only did one VIP. I have no idea what you're actually worth to me, right? This kind of sounds a little fucked up. I realize how it's sounding now that I'm saying it out loud, but it's true, I don't. I don't know him, I don't know anything about him, I don't know anything about his life, he got to lie to me about everything, maybe the 500 bucks he spent, 600 bucks he spent was the last $600 he had in his bank account, I have no idea. Now I wholly do not believe that that's true, but at the same time, we don't actually know. And people can promise you the world and not deliver anything. So the whole point of this is avoid time wasters. Even if someone takes you up to VIP and comes back downstairs, don't let them steal the rest of your night. You're still there to make money. No matter who that person is, no matter who they say they are, you're still there to make money. So you need to go and you need to make your money. That's all I want to talk about. I hope you have a fantastic Easter and we will talk soon.